Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Analysis Channel. We are sitting here once again with Sean, the president and CEO, who previously dove into his past experience and the origin of an analysis. But today we want to go deeper. So first off, Sean, how are you doing? I'm doing fabulous. Thanks very much. Awesome. Glad to have you back. And first and foremost, I want to kick it off like this. Let's say we're in an elevator. We got 50 floors to go up. I look at you and I say, Sean, tell me about your business. Yeah, we, we make portable NMR and MRI machines for industrial and healthcare applications. So our vision is to disrupt the MRI space because it doesn't work the way it should work. And, and the way it should work is you should be able to go down to your local pharmacy, sit in a chair, have your prostate MRI, should be connected to the cloud driven by AI, access via your trusted service like WebMD, and then should get a pleasant me message saying your prostate is fine, no need to consult your doctor. Similarly, if you're playing football on a Friday night in East Texas and you get your bell rung, you go into the locker room, make sure you don't have a concussion, should be no fuss, no muss. That's where we're going. Um, and that's what we do. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, it is completely fair that the current system in the current world of MRIs right now is, is very clunky, very expensive, and uh, very difficult to even get one. Sometimes you're placed on months long waiting lists. It sounds like the system you're putting forward is significantly quicker and significantly more efficient. So I'll dive into the machines a little bit. you got a couple different machines. Can you dive into them and talk about some of their functional use cases aside from what you already mentioned? Yeah, I definitely can. And, and um, you know, so the medical imaging part of this market opportunity, you know, the MRI for human diagnostics is a highly regulated environment. And so mm -hmm. what's, what's cool about our business and what we identified early on, and, and then the, the strategy associated with that is what makes us unique in the world, is that we figured out that MRI machines aren't just used for human diagnostics. They're also used for industrial analysis. They're used by mm -hmm big pharma, petrochemical companies, food companies. And, um, you know, anytime, you know, if you're taking possession of a commodities trade and you want to make sure that, you know, your $10 million worth of jet fuel or olive oil is, is, is good and what you paid for, um, mm -hmm. magnetic resonance machines are actually used for that as well. In fact, it's the gold standard of mm -hmm. analysis. You know, how much THC or CBD is in your cannabis oil or, you know, is your olive oil um, um, contaminated, by, contaminated by cheap oil, soy oil and, how much lithium is in your brine pool? So we figured that out and it, that's not a regulated market. So, but the math and the physics and the technology with the imaging side is exactly the same. So we went after the low hanging fruit from the revenue perspective. We miniaturized those machines. We're selling them to industrial com uh, customers like pharma and food and, and, and petrochemical law enforcement, you know, driving around in mobile labs, testing suspicious powders. We wow. miniaturized them. So rather than them being very large, expensive machines that weigh more than your car, um, we made them the size of your toaster or, or a microwave oven with, with, with one model. And so and then, and then we're, we're developing the medical imaging part of the opportunity going forward, but building a common technology platform and just as importantly, manufacturing platform to do both industrial analysis and medical imaging and go towards our vision uh, for magnetic resonance. Awesome. It sounds like it was a really good strategy to go for that low hanging, very lucrative uh, fruit in the industrial market. It's, that's a side of the business in terms of MRIs. A lot of people don't even know exists. Uh, absolutely. And we're the only ones in the world that have this strategy. Um, and, and, you know, because we're taking that strategy, rather than saying to investors, hey, you know, give me a couple hundred million dollars and leave me alone for five years and don't worry about it. I'll come up with something awesome. We're generating explosive revenue growth right now with our products for the industrial space. In other words, the unregulated part of it. We're clearly demonstrating in the public domain that we're also making process progress on the medical imaging imaging side with products being sold to OEM customers, um, selling to customers that are developing next generation medical imaging equipment in China. So real revenue associated with that. The best example of that part of our strategy is in, in January, we, we issued a press release a headline Gamma MRI, which is to develop next generation MRI technology to detect smaller tumors earlier and also make um, equipment more widely available. We got $1.3 million for that. We're doing it with many other European Union partners. It was a competitive bid on the project uh, and we came out on top. So we're gonna continue to do those things. And then, and then back to the industrial analysis, we're just gonna deliver you know, year over year explosive revenue growth selling, selling those machines. Wonderful, yeah, you, you've really 
explained what your edge is here. And it's really awesome that you guys are working with things on both sides of the market. I mean, obviously, when it comes to the human element, it's great to be able to get people access to this kind of stuff as, as soon as possible, as quick as possible to catch any potential life-threatening issues. Are you able to tell me more specifically some of the people currently using the tech, maybe just their industries if you can't dive in the names? Oh, for sure. I don't mind uh, mentioning the names. So um, we sold over 900 units thus far for well over $60 million. So, you know, we're not a, we're not a pre-revenue company by any means. Um, we sell to the biggest companies in the world like BASF, sorry, BASF and Eli Lilly and Pfizer, as well as two-person little biotech startups. Uh, we sell to the most famous universities in the world like Harvard and MIT. And we also sell to little community colleges in rural Mississippi or, or India. And by the way, in those places, there's no, um, there's no liquid helium trucks that are driving around to keep the superconducting magnets cool in those big machines, which is required both for the MRI machines in hospitals and the big magnetic resonance machines required for industrial analysis. We also sell the government labs all over the world, world as well. So, you know, we feel that our, our, the, the market opportunity that we're facing is, is scientific instrumentation, which is about seven, $75 billion per year. Um, the addressable part of that today uh, is about $3 billion, and we think with ongoing mini miniaturization and then just even more broadly, democratization, um, we're going to grow our addressable market in that larger scientific instrumentation space. Wonderful. It sounds like you guys are targeting a market that needs the help. You have a really strong strategy and you guys have been building really good momentum lately. Are you able to give any more hints of what you guys got coming up or maybe just some recent updates? Absolutely. You know, um, not only do we have an exciting sort of long-term vision, but, you know, we have some really good short-term catalysts as well. So you're going to see, you know, more acquisitions, you know, laser focused in on magnetic resonance, but complementary companies um, then enhance our overall operation. You're going to see continued announcements about, you know, demonstrated profitability on an EBITDA basis and revenue growth. You're going to see partnering announcements in terms of um, software applications and vertical market, market par partnerships as well. Wonderful. Well, Sean, thank you so much for coming on. Is there any last words you want to offer people before we go? No, I would just like to say that, you know, we really uh, um, thank North Equities for doing this for us. We, we welcome all the support out there in the marketplace. And anybody wants to give me a call or, or send me a note, please do so at any time. I love talking to shareholders. Thanks very much. Wonderful. You guys heard the man. Don't be afraid to reach out. If you got any questions at all, we'll happily talk to you and maybe even answer some of your questions in these videos and stay tuned because we'll get you some more exciting news over the wire. Sean, have a wonderful day. Cheers.